Okay, let's do another part. Let's do part uh, D. Okay, so again, my, this is my hypothesis. I'm testing the variance of my data for whether there is less than or equal to 100, an alternative that is bigger than 100. So I am going to, the test is still n minus 1 s squared divided by sigma squared. So the test in this case is going to be 37 times 67 divided by 100, which is the variance that we want to test the hypothesis. If we do this calculation, this ends up being 24.79. I know that I reject if the test T is bigger than a critical value. What is the critical value? The critical value comes from the fact that I know that n minus 1 s squared divided by sigma squared is distributed as a chi square with n minus 1 degrees of freedom, so 37 degrees of freedom. Okay, so I have my chi square. Okay, so let's look at the table. Okay, now I have, have to remember that I have 37 degrees of freedom. So now the line that I have to look will be somewhere here. We don't have an exact number, but we're going to have to approximate. It's going to be somewhere between, somewhere between 30 and 40 degrees of freedom. Okay? So the critical value at 5% will be somewhere between 43 and 53. At 1% will be somewhere between 50 and 63. Okay? And at 10% will be 40 and 51. So the critical value is somewhere, let's say the 5% critical value somewhere between 43 and 53, 43 and 55, okay? Our test is 24.79. So here I'm going to have my critical value is going to be, say, around, I don't know, 49 or so. That leaves 5% to the right. So where is my test? My test is somewhere around here. So what we can say that we reject at 5%. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. We cannot reject a 5% level, okay? Now, would I reject at 1%? Okay, 1%, it would be around 50. If I reject a 5%, oh, sorry. If I cannot reject a 5%, I, I cannot reject a 1%. And at 10%, the critical value is between 40 and 51. So I also cannot reject Also, at ten percent and one percent. 